today's video, we are going to be learning about the Indian Dental Association and its working in brief. Dr. R. Ahmed, in the year 1928, formed the All India Dental Association, which we all have come to know as the Indian Dental Association since 1949. The main objectives of this association included promotion and encouragement of dental and allied sciences, encouraging members to help in improving the public health and education in India as well as to maintain the honour and dignity of the dental profession. The main criteria to be a part of the IDA is to be a dental practitioner registered under the Indian Dentist Act 1948. Among such registered dentists, there are several categories from which the members are actually chosen. There are six groups of members and to remember the members, let us try remembering the mnemonic Sad life, yet I'm honoured. Let us now use this mnemonic and know each member and their selection criteria. The S stands for student members. You might be delighted to know Students who are undergraduates from a recognized dental institution can also be admitted as student members. Next, A stands for annual members. There is an option for becoming an annual member where the dental practitioners have an option of paying by annual subscription. Again, A also stands for affiliate members. There is an option for non-residential foreign dental practitioners to become affiliate members but these members will be attached to the head office only. The D here stands for direct members. You might wonder, there may be people who are eligible for the membership but do not reside or practice in the area of a local branch. For such people, there is an option of becoming direct members who shall be attached to a state branch or to the central headquarters. The word life, as it suggests, stands for life members. This group of members include those dental practitioners who make a payment of lifetime subscription. Lastly, the term honoured implies honorary members. People of high scientific attainment or those who have provided essential services to the association or those who have connections with the association, if willing, can be elected as honorary members. Now, to achieve the previously discussed objectives along with strengthening the association, Several programs have been introduced and measures have been adopted. The association encourages its members in conducting research with the grants out of the association's funds alongside encouraging them to publish papers in well-known journals. For the said research, knowing that several reference books and journals will be needed, the association also encourages opening of libraries in the branches along with buying books out of their funds. Several educational campaigns have been launched to educate the Indian population about the correct oral hygiene practices alongside educating the public against the unethical treatment which is provided by unqualified practitioners. Periodic meetings and conferences are also held for the members of the association to keep up with the agendas and also to learn about each other's advances in their respective specialty. Thus, this was all about the members and working of the Indian Dental Association. Thank you. If you stuck with me till now, I am sure you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It makes up for all the time and effort we put into making concepts so simple and easy for you. Hope to see you in the next one.